All right, this next series, instead of just going through the, um, the book, I wanted to use the lab manual because um, that is, for this block, the lab manual, this is what I used it for, okay? So I didn't use it for the first block and head and neck, let me check, I don't think I used it for head and neck either. No, I did use it for head and neck. Regardless, this is the big chunk that I used it for. So I want to go through the lab manual. So take out your lab manual and do the bolded the the way I used it is that whenever I got to a bolded structure, I'd make an arrow or if there's enough space, I'd just write right next to it and write everything that I knew about it. Okay, including innervation, um, the embryologic origin that's going to be important in this block. Um, what it becomes, if it becomes a ligament, if it started out as an artery and becomes a ligament, or started out as a certain structure and becomes a ligament. So those are the things that I would write down next to, okay? I, it would be wise as you're going through the text to do that yourself, all right? So let's start on page 96 of your lab manual and we'll go through it, all right? So it says, identify the urinary bladder. So the urinary bladder, embryologically, is gonna come from the allantois and the uracus. And the anchors are the pubovesicular ligament or the pubo-prostatic. And um, you have the neck of the bladder, which becomes the median umbilical ligament. Median, that's with an N. So we have a medial and a median. Okay, so median is going to be one right in the center. And you have two medials, and then you have, my hand's in the picture, I don't know how to do that. You have median in the center, medial, and um, lateral, okay? So median is going to be from, the median umbilical ligament is going to be from the neck of the bladder. The rectum is continuous with the sigmoid colon at S3. So at S3, it becomes the rectum. It's immediately anterior to the sacrum, and it does not have tenae colae muscles or the amental appendices of the hostra. And as we know from the abdomen, those are going to be the things that define um, the large intestine, but it does not have those same characteristics. Um, then you have the ovaries, which are suspended by the mesovarium of the broad ligament. And you have the suspensory ligament right above, which carries the nerve, the uh, vein, and the artery. And you have the uterus, which is between the bladder and the rectum. And in that, you have the body and the cervix of the uterus. And of course, implantation, when you get pregnant, occurs here. And you have uterine tubes, which are enclosed in the mesosalpinx of the broad ligament, and it goes uh, superior to the uterus. Um, so salpinx, if you hear salpingo or uu or um, utero or hyster, those are all going to refer to female anatomy, right? So uh, salping, salpingotomy or um, salpingectomy is going to be cutting of the fallopian tubes, of the uterine tubes. Moving on, the deep inguinal ring is from the transversus abdominis, the round ligament of the uterus, so the round ligament of the uterus becomes the ovarian ligament and the mesovarium, and it passes over the pelvic inlet to the deep ring and goes through the inguinal canal. Um, and it ends as connective tissue in the labia majora, so it really doesn't become much, um, and it's a remnant of the gubernaculum. So in the male, this is what's pulling the testes down, but in the female, it just becomes a round ligament of the uterus and becomes connective tissue. And the important thing about it is that these, this round ligament passes over the inferior epigastric vessel origin. So the inferior epigastric vessel comes off the main artery, right? Comes off as a branch, and this like hooks right over it. Um, so the round ligament or the ductus deferens the round ligament is in the female, the ductus deferens is in the male, and those are going to curve right above the inferior epigastric vessel, okay? Um, it can be coursing through the broad ligament, so of course it's the broad ligament. And in the male specimen, you have the testicular vessels, which we talked about in a previous video. Um, they run from the abdominal aorta. The, um, the arteries run from the abdominal aorta. 
but the left vein goes into the left renal vein and the right goes straight into the inferior vena cava. And those run through the spermatic cord as they come down. And you have the ductus deferens, which we talked about is equivalent um, in uh, location to the round ligament of the uterus. And it's in the inguinal canal. Okay, into the inguinal canal. Moving on, so that covers that. The retropubic space, which is the space behind the pubic symphysis, recto vesicle patch, uh, pouch. Uh, remember, we said vesicle means bladder, so recto vesicle pouch is going to be the between the bladder and the rectum. Um, everything else is fine. Uterovesical pouch is going to be between what? The uterus and the bladder, uterovesical pouch. And then you have the rectouterine pouch, which is also known as the pouch of Doug Douglas between the uterus and the rectum. Um, and this is a site where infection can occur a lot and fluid collects here. And it's the lowest level of the peritoneum, okay? So the pouch of Douglas is a site where infection and fluids collect. Important to remember. The broad ligament you can see on page 461. And then you have the mesoverium, mesosalpinx, and the mesometrium. Um, so mesoverium, ovaries, mesosalpinx, we said salpinx is fallopian tubes, and mesometrium is going to be like the area around it. Um, they form the broad ligament. Suspensory ligament of the ovary, what does it contain? It contains the ovarian vessels the nerve and the lymphatics and goes to the superior ovarian pole. And the transverse cervical ligament is the cardinal ligament, also known as the cardinal ligament and attaches the cervix and the uterus to the pel pelvic cavity laterally. Um, when you do a suprapubic catheterization, you usually do it close to the midline. This is just extra information, sorry, to include at the end. So you don't have to worry too much about the nerve um, but if you like the nerves in that region, but if you went off the midline, um, watch out for the ileal hypogastric nerve in that area. Just since we're talking about the bladder and stuff, super pubic catheterization, you usually do it close to the midline so that you don't get the nerves. Okay, unit seven, two, let's move right along. We have the obturator nerve. In the previous video, we mentioned that it was L2 through L4, um, and it passes within the psoas muscle and it comes behind the common iliac artery um, to m the medial part of the internal artery and through the obturator canal. Obturator nerve. Locate the obturator artery, we talked about that, and joins the nerve and trace it um, toward its origin from the internal iliac artery. Is, it's an, from the anterior branch of the internal iliac artery. And the nerve is going to be above um, the artery, and the artery is going to be above the vein. Okay. This part is important. There's often an aberrant uh, obturator artery, and it arises from the inferior epigastric artery or the external iliac artery. The reason this is important is it has a clinical significance. It wraps around the inguinal canal. So when you're repairing an inguinal hernia, if they have this structure and you cut it, it's going to cause massive bleeding. It's called corona mortis, right? Crown of death. So if you nick this aberrant obturator artery, which is around the inferior epigastric artery, or sorry, from the inferior epigastric artery or external iliac artery, it's called corona mortis, the crown um, of death, right? It's going to cause massive, massive bleeding. Um, okay, moving right along. Common iliac artery, its bifurcation um, is L5 and S1, um, anterior medial to the SI joint. So the sacroiliac joint right in front of it is going to be um, the bifurcation and becomes external and internal iliac arteries and we went through those branches okay and identify all the branches from the checklist we did that let me pause here and start a new video so that we can upload it